Hi there, Cloak Queen's here back again. Um, I was so excited by the methylene chloride results that I decided I can't even wait a day. I'm going to try it out on this hand. This is straight off the build plate as you can see. Still got the um, support material that I'm going to take off. And I'm just going to dip it. Not dip it, but I'm going to brush on methylene chloride on it. Maybe give it a light sand, maybe not. I can't decide. I'll take this stuff off and uh, I'll come back to show you after I've uh, sanded it. Okay, bye. In fact, it's so good, such a good print, I'm not even going to bother sanding it at all for the sake of this video, so I'm just going to... Alright, so there it is, it's all off. That's all I've done is taken off the support material, now I'm going to cover it in methylene chloride and compare it to some close-ups I took earlier. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, here we are, here's the unsanded hand. I'll just show you close-up just to prove it's unsanded. Nothing done at all on this one. So, just pop that back there, and here we go. Alright, I'm going to leave it there. The only problem with methylene chloride is that it dries very quickly, so it's not like acetone, like you actually have a bit of time to cover the whole model. So you'll find you'll be painting it on and then it'll just stick, but so far it, looks, it doesn't look too bad. So that's what it looks like so far. Alright, I'm just going to leave it for a bit, see what it looks like in a couple of minutes, okay, bye, or an hour, or half an hour or something. Okay, alright, so here we have it, the print afterwards, you can even see a bit where it hasn't been done there. So it's, it's gone matte instead of shiny. And uh, alright, I'm going to do a couple of close-up photos and we'll do a comparison. Alrighty. Alright, so the first thing I can notice is that there's shiny bits and matte bits at the same time. The shiny bits are where I just went over the, the, um, the model lightly and the matte bits are where I went over it much heavier. So I can't see any of those stepper lines, or they're very subtle now. But, as you can see, some of the stepper lines are still remaining here. So uh, there's a lot of inconsistencies with this method. It just evaporates too quickly to have a to do the brush on method. So you, as you can see in between the fingers, that you can still see some of the vibration lines, as I call them. So I, I wouldn't. I mean, I, I thought it would be really cool, but to be honest with you, it's not as good as I thought. I think uh, an acetone dip would be much more effective. To be honest with you or even an acetone paint on, because the acetone actually sits on the model far longer than this stuff, so it actually sinks in and evenly cures the surface, whereas this only cures the parts that you manage to touch. And it's extremely difficult to lay an even amount of this methylene chloride stuff on all of the parts of the model equally, so I just wouldn't recommend doing it. Um, I mean, the results are alright if you're not into perfection like me, but you're going to have odd patches that I just don't like. I like the whole model to be pretty much even. I mean, you can see quite easily here that uh, I couldn't do it because I was holding it and in between the fingers. So there you have it. I'm going to spray it now just for the hell of it, just so you see what it looks like. And um, I'll put it side by side with a comparison of one I've acetoned and electroplated afterwards. All right, see you in a bit. Bye. All right, so this is what it came out like. For all those interested, I'll do some close-ups afterwards, but 
there you have it. Just to show you another one that I did acetone and plate, that's this one here. Exactly the same model. You can already see that this one's kind of funky looking. I mean, it's been plated and patinaed, but it's the same model. And this has been done using my acetone method. Probably exactly the same filament as well. Could be red one as well, I don't know. I'm not sure what filament. This could have been the Ultimaker blue filament, by the way, not Colorfab, Ultramarine. But I have a feeling this was the red color fab, traffic red. But there you have it. So that's acetoned and plated, so you can see all the how smooth it was. Smooth all the fingers are and everything. But yeah, alright, I'll do some close-ups now just to show you all the bits of this. Alright, so there you have it, there's my methyl chloride experiment. It's alright, but I'll still be using acetone. This one's a bit too unpredictable. It doesn't smooth as much as I'd like it to, although this side is very nice, I have to admit. And that's with zero sanding on this model. I just literally took off the uh, support material. So this is literally just off the printer and onto the methyl chloride. So I guess it's all right for, for people who aren't used to the acetone, the job, but um, I won't be doing it, I don't think, because uh, I don't think it provides a general uniform coverage, but that's about it. I don't know, you might like it, but considering I still see lines, then I still see lines with acetone as well, so I don't think there's much difference in all three chemicals, to be honest with you, so I'll just carry on using acetone, because I've been using it for the last three years anyway. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.